is q less than 0 this is a number line 0 lies here statement 1 q minus 15 is closer to 0 than q is so imagine if q were negative q minus 15 would be even more negative and q would be between q minus 15 and 0 so q minus 15 can never be closer to 0 than q is which means in other words q cannot be negative so we get no as the answer that no q is not less than 0 using statement 1 statement 1 is sufficient remember no is very much an answer although it is not needed to try out positive values just for conceptual clarity let me explain that this condition would not be true for all the positive values of q but for some positive values of q for example for a big value of q such as say q is equal to 20 see 20 lies here q minus 15 would be 5 so see q minus 15 is closer to 0 than q is for certain values such as say q is equal to say 6 you will see that q minus 15 would be farther from 0 q minus 15 would be negative 9 which would be 9 units away from 0 whereas q is only 6 units away from 0 so it's not that this condition is satisfied by all the positive values of q but yes for certain values such as these bigger values this definitely holds so statement 1 is sufficient we get no as the answer look at statement 2 now q minus 15 is closer to 0 than to q so imagine if q were negative q minus 15 would be even more negative and it says q minus 15 is closer to 0 which is never going to happen because for negative values of q q would lie between q minus 15 and 0 and therefore this condition would never be met for negative values of q so once again we get no as the answer statement 2 is also sufficient once again you don't have to assume positive values just by negating the negative values and concluding that no q is less than 0 you can very well just conclude that d is the correct answer choice but again just for conceptual clarity statement 2 would be sufficient for small positive values of q for example say q is equal to 10 and see q minus 15 in this case would be q minus 15 would be negative 5 so you see that q minus 15 is closer to 0 it's only 5 units than to q which is 15 units if q were really big say if q were say 100 then q q minus 15 would be 85 and in this case q minus 15 would be closer to q than to 0 but again you don't have to do this it's all just for your conceptual clarity the point is that for statement 1 also negative values are not possible to satisfy the condition for statement 2 also negative values are not possible for satisfying the given condition and therefore in each case we get no as the answer d is the correct answer choice each statement is alone sufficient each statement tells us that no q is not less than zero